Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. So, OpenAI has just launched GPT-40. So, let's check it out. Well, GPT-40 is a significant upgrade to GPT-4, and it is the new flagship model by OpenAI. This is an Omni model, which means it has a great range of capabilities. It has intelligence, it has advanced vision capabilities, and it also includes both a speech synthesizer and a speech transcriber. It can perform all these tasks in real time and simultaneously as well. This means it can literally do what a human can. Imagine it as an extremely capable version of the good old Google Assistant. It can respond to audio inputs in as little as 232 milliseconds, with an average of 320 milliseconds. It matches GPT-4 Turbo's performance on text in English and code, with significant improvements in text for non-English languages, while also being much faster and 50% cheaper in the API. GPT-4.0 is especially superior in vision and audio understanding compared to existing models. Before GPT-4.0, using voice mode to talk to chat GPT involved latencies of 2.8 seconds, which could go up to 5.4 seconds on average with GPT-4. This was achieved through a pipeline of three separate models. One simple model transcribed audio to text. GPT-3.5 or GPT-4 processed the text, and a third simple model converted that text back to audio. This process meant that the main source of intelligence, GPT-4, lost a lot of information. It couldn't directly observe tone, handle multiple speakers, or detect background noises, and it couldn't output laughter, singing, or express emotion. With GPT-4.0, they have trained a single new model end-to-end -end across text, vision, and audio, meaning that all inputs and outputs are processed by the same neural network. They also claim it is much more efficient now, and they are going to make it available for free to chat GPT users without requiring a membership fee, which is really amazing to see. It also has increased memory, so there should be no prompting issues. GPT-4.0 is also going to be available as an API. It is going to be twice as fast and 50% cheaper than GPT-4 Turbo. They also showcased some very cool demos on stage. It operates in real time, which means if your internet works really well, you can get responses back in mere milliseconds. This is pretty amazing. Obviously, this should be taken with a grain of salt, because as the load on the model increases, its performance may start to degrade. It also demonstrated how it can understand your emotions when you speak. For example, if you speak angrily, it can understand that as well, which other models have not been able to do. It is also being said that Apple has struck a deal with OpenAI to power their Siri Assistant on the next-gen iPhones, which is pretty amazing. Another thing that's pretty amazing is how it can be helpful in coding. Basically, you can share your screen with ChatGPT and do your coding while asking for help along the way through voice, and it will tell you what you should do or what may be causing the error. This is pretty amazing as well. They also showed how it could be beneficial for real-time translation as well. They have also shared some benchmarks about the model, and in most of the benchmarks, it beats all previous models in existence, which is pretty cool. In the MMLU benchmark, it scores 88.7. In the GPQA benchmark, it scores 53.6. In the math benchmark, it scores 76.6. In the human evil benchmark, it scores 90.2. In the MGSM benchmark, it scores 90.5. And finally, in the drop benchmark, it lags a little, but still scores a respectable 83.4. Pretty cool. In the audio ASR benchmark, it also thrives by beating their own Whisper V3 model. 
Audio translation performance is also amazing with this. That's enough talk. Let's check it out. Currently, it is not available for free users and is going to be available in the next few weeks. If you're a Plus user, you can go ahead and check it out now. But, if you want to use it without a membership, you can check it out in the LMSI's chatbot arena. You can go over to the direct chat option and check it out there. And if that does not work due to their rate limit, you can check it out from the arena, where you'll be shown two random chatbots, and sometimes you'll see a response created by GPT-40 as well. So, to test, I sent a prompt about why the sky is blue. By chance, it gave me both the GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-40 responses side by side. At first glance, what I can see is that GPT-40 is more verbose than GPT-4 Turbo. This might be because it is more optimized for voice messages as well. I generally prefer short responses unless I prompt it for a longer response. But I think that can be adjusted with some prompt techniques. I also asked it to create a snake game in Python. And as you can see, on the left is the Gemini 1.5 Pro response. And on the right is the GPT-40 response. Here you can see that GPT-40 is again very verbose. Instead of giving the code directly like Gemini, it provides multiple steps and explanations. I would have preferred to just get the code and then get the instructions after the code, similar to what Gemini does. But let's run it and check. Hmm. Okay, it seems to be working fine. So, overall, I don't know what to say about this. It is literally very advanced compared to other models available in the market. I think this might be a game changer. And more than this model, I'm excited to see other open source models catching up with this. But let's see if that happens. I'm also happy to see that they are making it free. This way, we'll at least have some better capabilities for regular life use. Let's see if the open source community catches up with this model. Anyway, if you have used it or are going to use it, let me know your results in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.